All right. Hey, everyone. Good to see everyone's uh, Zoom squares. All right, we're letting everyone in now. Lots of people on today. Okay, so as you're coming in, a couple things. Uh, number one, if you will go down to the chat and put where you're zooming in from today. So where in the world are, let's play, let's play, where in the world are you? All right. We got Ohio, love my Ohio peeps. Uh, New Jersey, let's see, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Tampa, Washington, Dallas, Delaware, California. Very cool. Awesome. All over the place. No. Sorry, y'all. My wife. My wife and business partner jumped in real quick. Okay, so we've got people from all over. That's awesome. Um, and we should also have a uh, special Linda McKissick on with us. Linda, are you on? I don't see her yet, Andy. Do you see Linda? Not yet. Okay, no worries. We'll, uh, she will be on shortly. I just talked to her. Okay, so um, this is awesome. Thank you all for being on. Um, we are really excited to share some pretty cool stuff around profit share and recruiting uh, with you all today. We're gonna maximize the time while you're on here. Um, and uh, so I just appreciate your time. Um, just to give a quick introduction of, of who I am and I'll kind of quickly introduce the team. Um, my name is, and you know what? Let me, to make it easier, let me pin myself. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so uh, my name is Press McKissick. I am the son of Linda and Jim McKissick, um, KW uh, icons around the conversation of profit share. And um, I run our region up here in Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. Uh, and so I have the pleasure of working with our amazing agents up here um, and, uh, and then are working with our amazing KW uh, International I get to work with uh, with Gary and with Jason and all the and Mark, all the amazing leaders we have. Um, one of the big passions of mine is is this conversation right here today, profit share. Um, for obvious reasons, growing up with Linda uh, and Jim, um, I got to watch their life transform because of this company. So when when I was born and growing up, uh, Jim and Linda didn't have a lot of money, and then this company called Keller Williams came about. They joined it. They took advantage of it, and uh, they had this amazing opportunity called Profit Share uh, that they built. And uh, fast forward to today, and um, they make over a million dollars a year in Keller Williams Profit Share. And so, growing up in that environment, um, I got to see the the power of passive income. And uh, and so, what we're going to talk about today are our recruiting process, our recruiting websites, and uh, and everything that 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 entails is an outgrowth of. Um, really Jim and Linda's influence. Um, so very grateful uh, to them. What I wanna do, uh, yes, $1 million a year in profit share. Also, their lifetime profit share. Who wants to guess? Put in the chat, what do you think their lifetime profit share is at this company? Total lifetime profit share at KW. <laughs> a billion. I, Matt Templeton, I wish it was a billion, my friend. That would be awesome. Not yet. Yeah, awesome. Great guesses, everyone. Uh, it is around 14 million. I think it just recently passed 14 million in lifetime profit share. And what I want to remind all, like remind all of us of when we talk about profit share is, yeah, the the money's amazing, but what's just as amazing is how it shows up, right? Because most of us go every day and we work in real estate or we work in a position inside of the KW ecosystem that pays us money to, to actively do that, right? Like we don't make the money if we're not doing the work. What's amazing about profit share is that money shows up whether we do anything or not. And that's the part that I fell in love with was this idea of, wow, is there really a way to build a passive income stream that I don't have to go clean toilets through a rental property? I don't have to, right, go actively help a buyer or seller find a home or sell their home. And, uh, and so that, yeah, that's right, mailbox money. 
um, that idea of it, how it comes to me is really powerful. So I think what you're going to see today hopefully gets a lot of you excited because what we've done with our process is lower the barrier to entry around profit share and also reduce the time it takes um, to both build your downline, but actively recruit, right? Because I think that one of the biggest things Linda and I hear from people um, who say, hey, profit share sounds amazing, uh, but the problem is I make all my money from selling real estate. So I don't have time to recruit all day, which we hear a lot. And so in this process we're going to talk about today, um, we've automated about 80% of the recruiting process so that you can actively go out and sell real estate. And so the vision I want to paint in your head right now is imagine waking up at the beginning of every week. And what you do is you look at your calendar at the people who scheduled um, appointments with you to show a home or to list their home. And then you also look at your calendar and people have scheduled recruiting calls with you. And so what I'm going to show you today is that process right there. And it's, we've got people doing it now. And I think you're going to be pretty excited. Um, with that being said, we have Linda on. So Linda, uh, where are you at? I'm going to try to bring you spotlight you. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm out okay. spending that money. <laughs> That's right. So, um, okay. Ad pen. Linda, yay. How are you? Good. I'm doing great. I just did a profit share call, got off of one for an office and I'm just, I could just talk about profit share all day long. So jumping from one call to the next. Awesome. Well, Linda, um, I introduced who you are and share with everyone. You're the number one profit share earner inside of KW. You guys make over a million dollars a year in profit share. Um, uh, your, your lifetime is over 14 million. Um, will you just talk for a second about why profit share and the power of it? Because uh, obviously everyone on the, we got 172 people right now on this call. And the reason they're here is because they want to learn more about how to take advantage of it. So what, what advice or thoughts would you share around the why behind profit share? Well, the first, my first thought I want to share with you is um, we have to change the way we view profit share, because I bet every single one of you, if I ask you to write down on a piece of paper, how has Keller Williams enhanced or changed your life? Uh, I get some amazing answers back. And so my next question to you is, if Keller Williams has enhanced your life and changed your life and definitely changed our life and our whole family's life, who are we to decide that that's enough lives changed, right? Who are we to decide, okay, that's enough. <laughs> our life's been changed. And so when we change the way we look at this in the fact that we're actually, yes, we're building wealth while we're changing lives, that changes to me the whole trajectory of it because I don't, I know most of you are probably like me in the fact that you can't do something if you think you're doing something to someone, but when you do something for someone, it feels amazing. So first of all, I would say that um, this is an opportunity for you to change lives. I always say, you know, my buyers and sellers sold a lot of houses with me, but they never looked at me with tears in their eyes and said, thank you, you changed my life. Never, not one time. <laughs> they said, great real estate transaction and we'll refer everybody to you. Uh, so we're getting a chance to change lives here. And that's that I want you to keep at the forefront of your mind because it's exciting. And, you know, I just told the, the group before when I was on a call, I said, you know, the money is fabulous. I'm big into freedom. So I love the fact that Profit Share has, has built a beach house that we can last week go spend a week with our whole family at the beach house. And I love the fact that it bought us a plane to get us there. And I love the fact that it built the house that we love to all gather in and be in. But I'm going to tell you, there's some things that profit share can do that you will not even remotely think about until it happens. And that's when you have the opportunity to write a check for a family member who hasn't had the opportunities that you have, haven't maybe had, you know, the financial knowledge that you've had, and they're about to lose their home in their seventies and you can stroke a check and give them a life estate. Nothing feels better than that. So we have to understand that this opportunity is way bigger than a vacation it can pay for us or a trip or any of those things. There's so much good that you can do. I've watched my friends, the Ubaldinis, stroke a check for 10 grand every month to have 24 hour care for his mother when she was in an, in an elderly facility that she would have probably died six months in or less if they had not been able to afford to do that. So I just encourage you, Profit share is one of those things you have to believe it before you see it. And that makes the hard part, but just focus on the change in lives part and following the models and systems and the rest will take care of itself. Yeah. It's Linda, a great gift. Linda, will you talk for a minute about the walking over dollars to get to dimes? 
Yeah. Well, we get up every day and we walk over dollars to get to dimes. In other words, um, I could have never sold enough real estate and I was a very high top producer. I was the number one in Keller Williams for many years, um, but I could have never sold enough real estate to do what I've been able to do with building profit share. So what I always say is we get up every day and we look to build our real estate businesses, but we don't get up every day and look to build our profit share. And so we would encourage you to treat at least a portion of your 24 hours that God gave us all and spend a little bit on it on this profit share business and treat it truly like a business. Uh, and, and it has so much higher potential in the long run than we could, any of us all could ever probably sell, to be honest. That's right. Okay, so, um, and today we're going to show y'all again, like I said before, Linda, before you were hopping on, what's exciting about what we've done, what we've launched the last about a month and a half ago now, um, is a way to help people be able to recruit and not spend all their time doing it, and then also give them the ability to where recruits actually schedule calls with you, and you get to wake up, I said, could we imagine a day where we wake up, we look at our calendar for the week, and we look at three things, what buyers are we showing houses to, what uh, sellers are we going on listing appointments for? And then who, what recruits have scheduled calls with us to do? Yeah, and I just want to reiterate, Press, this is, the, this is the part that Press and Josh and I have created for uh, recruiting new agents. Uh, we have a whole nother Profit Share Mastery course that's all about how you recruit existing agents. This is strictly for if you just wanted an automatic system to help you get, because guess what? We were all new once, right? Uh, most of our marketplace uh, has uh, agents haven't been in forever. So you're, you're by getting the new, you're actually getting the future top producers. You know, what's amazing though, Linda, with, with the shifting, I think, I think the shifting market has to do with this, but um, for the people who are using our sites already about 7% of the leads that are coming through are actually licensed agents. Which is so bizarre. Yeah. Which is which is not what it what it used to be, right? It used to be a lesser percentage, but I think because of people are looking up and looking at options, and this is KW was built for what we're about to go into. I mean, we have the best training in the industry, hands down. We have amazing agents who do amazing things and amazing leadership, and so um, I think it's has a it's just a product of the environment we're in. But it's cool to see like people have the opportunity to recruit even producers with this process as well. So, okay. So, um, so here's what I want to know. First thing, how many people are in your downline right now? Put it in the chat. How many people are currently in your downline? Okay. We got one, 15, 23, 12. Woo. Lots. Oh man. Who's 96. Mila. You're amazing. 250. Tim. Way to go. Tim. Matt Templeton. 120. Way to go. Matt. Uh, let's see. 160 bill. We got five. We got one. Awesome. So here's, uh, here's what I want to, here's the, uh, the whole reason why you guys hopped on today. Oh, Colette 500. That's amazing. Way to go. So cool. We have numbers all over the board, right? Here's the thing I want to show you though. And this is the reason you all have hopped on today, right? And that is to learn how to be able to recruit five plus people per month into KW. Now here's the truth. Uh, whether you want to recruit five or whether you want to recruit one or whatever number you want to do, we've got some people, Nick in particular, who I'm going to share his story in a minute, recruits upwards of about 14 to 15 per month. Um, and then Brent Mitchell recruited 213 people last year into KW. So anywhere on that number, you can be using this system. It just depends on how, how much time you want to give to it, how much effort you want to do. But it's very realistic with what we're about to show you of how you can grow your downline by five, five people or more per month into KW without having to spend all your time recruiting. So let's kind of, let's kind of walk through this process. Um, and I'm going to share a story with you about how, uh, what kind of led us to discovering this process and how it works. So this is the formula. Okay. If you want to pull your phone out, take a picture or just write it down on a piece of paper. This is the formula to recruit at scale. Okay, and what's amazing about it is it's highly automated and it used to be very technical, but now it is no longer. Thank you, Josh Boatman, uh, for making it available for everyone. So it's not super technical anymore. Um, and so let me kind of walk you through what this process looks like. We have a website and what happens is we then go on the internet and we find places to go generate leads. 
We pay to generate leads. Those leads then come to our website. They register on our site. We then put them through an automation campaign, depending on uh, where they are in the process. And then they schedule calls with us on our calendar when they're ready to talk. We jump on a recruiting call with them. And then we either put them on a follow-up plan where we follow up with them over time until they're ready to um, get passed to a market center. Or if they're ready, we go ahead and refer them to a market center and we build our downline. That is essentially the process. And we do that over time. And like I said, it's highly automated and you'll see there's no, there would be no way for Brent Mitchell to recruit 213 people or Nick to recruit 163 people in one year without having a way to be able to um, automate a lot of the follow-up and our, our process automates about 80% of it, which is, which is really nice. Okay. So um, let me kind of talk about the genesis of this. This is Nick. Uh, Nick is, is my uh, best friend. Um, has anyone read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad? Yep. Okay. So Nick is, uh, Nick is like that story. Okay. He grew up with my family, his family is educators, uh, my family, Jim and Linda, he got to, you know, grow up since we were what, Linda, three years old or something. Yep, three. And so he got to watch my family's life just take off on a trajectory that, you know, many people don't have that opportunity to do. And a lot of that was because of profit share. And Nick really latched onto this idea of passive income. Um, and so he uh, fast forward to um, right out of college, Nick starts selling real estate. He realizes he doesn't really love, he always thought he was going to be a real estate agent. And he, then he realized, I don't really love the, the hunt of, of, of real estate. It was not his thing. He just didn't love it. It's not his personality. But what he did love was passive income. He loved rental properties and he loved um, profit, this idea of profit share. And so good news for Nick is uh, Jim and Linda wrote the book, Hold, on buying and holding real estate long-term to build wealth. And then they also are the case study for building a massive profit share business inside of KW. Um, and so with that being said, um, also Andy, if you'll just please uh, keep admitting people, I'm seeing people hop in, um, thank you. Um, so uh, Nick asked the question to me one day, hey Press, if I wanted to go build a, a great passive income through profit share, how would I do that? And so Nick and I set out to go and actually find who was sponsoring the most people inside of KW and how were they doing it? So we, um, we asked a few people and we heard of a guy by the name of Brent Mitchell. Um, Brent Mitchell has now been the number one sponsoring agent inside of KW for something like 12 or 13 years running. And he is the goat of sponsoring people into this company. Actively, I think he sponsored over somewhere between 1,500 and 2,000 people into the company in his first level. And he makes six figures in profit share. He's now one of the top profit share earners inside the company. And, um, and so we, uh, we asked if he'd do a call with us. He said yes. So we hopped on a call and he, uh, I'll go back a slide. He actually painted uh, this picture of what is on the slide right now. He walked through that process and said, here's the thing. Most people I talk to about this, they don't do it because of the technical aspects of it. They're just not willing to commit the time to build it. They're not willing to do the technical side. So Nick and I said, well, we're young. We've got the time. We'll, we'll do it. So we went out and built what he said to do, added our own spin onto it with some things we had learned from the marketing and digital marketing world about how you build connection with people without ever seeing them. And from that, um, we built a website. We built the automation on the back end. And for the last four years now, Nick has been um, actively focusing on building his profit share. So now what I want to show you are the results of Nick doing that. So in terms of downline growth, this is Nick's first level. In 2018, it was his first full year doing it. Nick recruited 79 people into the company. His second year, 2019, was uh, one short of 100. He couldn't get, guys, he couldn't get one more recruit. Gosh, one more recruit, he would have been 100. Uh, 99 that year. In 2020, he recruited 128. And last year, he recruited 163 people in the company. Can I just hear like a congrats? Nick's not on the call, but can we all just say in the chat or with our hands, like, uh, can y'all imagine 163 people in one year into the, in KW? That's, a, that's an amazing feat that very, very few have ever done. Um, and that's just a testament to Nick's commitment to build his profit share. And Nick's only, Linda, how old is Nick? 31? 
He's just a hair older than you. So he's, he's 30. Close. He's 30. So imagine he continues to do this, what his profit share is going to look like, his passive income is going to look like. So now here's the cool part because the downline growth is awesome. But what's even more fun is to actually look at what has happened to Nick's profit share over that time. So here's what I want you to do. Um, and feel free, take a picture of this slide if you want to keep it to revisit it. It's a great, it's a great graphic. Honestly, it's a great thing to put on your, your vision board. Um, look in the red box first. I've tried to break this down as simple as possible. The red box shows you 2018 up to the year 2021. Um, and now go over to the green box. I want to show you his profit share annual growth year over year. So 2018 was his first full year doing this. He made almost $9,000 in profit share. His second year, he makes almost 15. His third year, 32. And last year, Nick broke 50,000 in annual profit share, and he broke 100,000 in lifetime profit share. So I want to hear in the chat, I'm going to open up the chat here. What's your aha from looking at Nick's numbers? What's your aha from looking at Nick's growth and his numbers? What do you see? I'm seeing, I'm seeing things like consistent growth, exponential growth, compounding, consistency. Yep, yep, that's it. It can, it can be done, yep, 100%. Here's what's so cool about this. Linda, how long did it take you to build your profit share? How many years for you to, for you to even break 50,000? Oh, you know, I need to, we need to figure that out. But need I, to go I, look. Yeah, we do. And I have to tell you, there's no way four years in, by four years, I wasn't even convinced to work on profit share. So I know I didn't make, I think we might've made $2,000 our fourth year in for the whole year. I mean, that's what's amazing about what Nick has done here is it blows out of the water that you should have got here early. So yeah, you can't hang on to that one anymore. That's right. And what's so cool is the company is more profitable than it used to be. Like back in the day, Linda Profit was a great goal for Keller Williams. But today we're a profitable company and we have been year over year. And so the fact is there are people in our company today, Nick is an example of this, who are building their profit share at a faster rate than Linda McKissick did back in the day. And yeah, so I want, what I want you all to know is there is a massive opportunity. This industry turns over every three years. That means there's a new breed of agent coming in and someone is going to sponsor them into KW. The question is, is it going to be you? And yeah, so what, go ahead, Brett, Linda. Michelle asked, uh, does Nick do this and sell real estate full-time and just reiterate how many hours a day he does this and no, he doesn't, but he does investment properties. He does. He, they he do not keep their money in the bank. So yeah, so Nick, so uh, talking about the time Nick does, um, Nick um, does not sell real estate. He stopped doing that. He did work for a builder for a time. Um, but he's actually stepped away from that. Nick spends probably about 20 hours a week on profit share between recruiting calls, follow up. Um, and then he also um, uh, invests in real estate and does rental properties and things like that. So he is not actively selling real estate. And that's the other part of this. Um, that I, here's, the, here's the cool thing. I can reasonably show you if you want to recruit 100 people per year into KW that you should average about four recruiting calls per day. Nick averages about 20 minutes per call. So 20 times four, what is that? An hour and 20 minutes that he has on a recruiting calls per day. Um, now, not everyone wants to build their profit share that fast. Not everyone has to build it that fast. What if you just did two recruiting calls a day, right? So at the end of the day, you can do it as fast or as slow as you want to do it. But what's amazing is there's a process that you can follow to build your profit share while you build your business. It doesn't have to be either or. And that's the main thing I want you to take away. In addition to that, it's absolutely possible to build massive profit share really, really fast if you want to, if you want to. Um, okay, so let me kind of break down the process so you guys understand what this looks like. The way it works is we've, uh, we partner with um, the number one uh, job posting board in the world. They get hundreds of millions of hits a month. Um, and they are called Indeed. Uh, you probably have all probably heard of Indeed or seen their ads. And basically what happens is um, we coach our people to run a national advertisement on Indeed that pushes people directly to their recruiting website that we built, that we've already built and done all the work for. So basically what we did about uh, six months ago is Josh, who's on this call with us, 
he looked at what Nick did. And I said, Hey, he came to me one day and said, press, I think I can take what you guys did with Nick. And I think we can make it for everyone. Because the truth is I was doing what Brent was doing, where I was getting phone calls from people saying, Hey, what's Nick doing? How's he doing that? I'd explain it to him. And what do you think their biggest objection was to that? Yeah. It was the time to build it. It was the tech. It was the connecting it all together. Most agents aren't going to do that. It's just not going to be a good use of their time. So Josh was like, hey, instead of you doing that, why don't we just build it for them and give them the platform to do it? So that's what we did. So we coach our people to run a national add on Indeed. They recruit all over the our people recruit all over the country. Um, uh, those uh, leads that come off of Indeed go directly to their website and um, select where they are in the process. Mm -hmm. After they do that, they go into an automated follow-up campaign that we've already pre-built out. Those people get dripped on and get pushed into the next call to action, the thing that they need to do uh, the, um, uh, for their next step. Uh, and one of those calls to action is to schedule a call with you. And so people who are enrolled in school or a licensed agent will go through the system and they will schedule calls with you on your calendar based on when you give them availability to do it. And so a lot of our people, what they do is they take their calendar for the week and they say, here's my two to four recruiting slots per day, Monday through Friday. And these are when I'm available to do recruiting calls. Those leads come through the system. They just start scheduling calls with you. And so you look up at your calendar and you're gonna see who schedule calls. You're gonna do the recruiting call and then you refer them to the market center when they're, when they're ready to go to the market center. Okay, and that's basically the process. Now, what I want to do is, um, Josh, I want you to pull up. Why don't you kind of show them a little more in depth, like what we really mean when we talk about the website and the automation? Yeah, absolutely. All right, give me one second here. And also, everyone uh, give Josh a big thank you in the chat because Josh is the tech partner who helped us figure out how to build all this. Yay, Josh. Woo! <laughs> all right, so hopefully everyone's yeah. kind of seeing my screen. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so this is just kind of what the front end of the website looks like. Uh, typically, this is not going to be the page that we actually send recruits to, um, but we do have a different front end look as well. But uh, when Press talks about when we're driving these um, internet internet based, based leads, whether it's through Indeed or any kind of job posting forum, we're going to drive them to this page on your site. And this is where kind of like the beginning of the magic happens. This is where the recruit's gonna kind of self-segment where they are in their real estate journey, right? So we have three buttons that they'll click, like, hey, are they a licensed real estate agent? Are they enrolled in real estate school? Or are they not enrolled in real estate school? Now, the two here on the end, this, these are the ones that we actually send to our automation, right? They're gonna start getting dripped on over the next six months, um, depending upon where they select. Uh, and we kind of send them around, I think it's like 35 emails um, weekly um, with various check-in points. Uh, the first one I want to talk about though is the licensed real estate agent. These don't actually get sent to any kind of drip. Um, when they do something, when a licensed real estate agent signs up through your site, they do get a prompt where they can go to your calendar and schedule a call, but we send you an immediate email that says, hey, you have a licensed real estate agent. And uh, press likes to refer to these as like the come list me's, right? These are people that have their license and they are actively looking to move. Otherwise they wouldn't have been on a job board or uh, gone to your website to sign up. So the expectation with those, you're gonna pick up the phone and you're gonna immediately start to talk to them, see where they are and how you can kind of connect them with the market center. Um, so the next one we'll talk about real quick is enrolled in real estate school. So press kind of talks about, you know, we have two calls of action, right? One for when they're not enrolled in real estate school and one when they're in real estate school. When they're not enrolled, our number one call to action is to get them enrolled, right? We want those people to start taking classes. So to do that within those emails, we constantly will remind them like, hey, if you're not enrolled in real estate school yet, click this link, which will take them to this page that lives on your website. And this is where they're gonna select which state they're in. So let's say for instance, they select Indiana. And then they're gonna be driven to this page. And on this page, we actually offer two things. First, we offer a link to that state's real estate commission. So obviously, you know, you may not be familiar with all the rules in selling real estate across the country. This is where they can go and get the information directly from the state. The second link here we have is the recommended online real estate school. So one of the really cool things we have is uh, 
partnership with Real Estate Express and the CE Shop, which are the two number one online real estate schools in the country. And what's really cool about our partnership with them, you have that ability to sign up as an affiliate with them, uh, which basically means if, you're, if this is Real Estate Express, for instance, when they click on this, they'll be driven to Real Estate Express with your affiliate link. And then if they sign up for classes, you'll actually get a portion of that revenue. Um, what's really cool about this, uh, when we were working on this process and we were building these websites, I asked press, I said, you and uh, Nick do this, how much money were you guys making? And so we actually went and we looked and last year they made, what was it, press around $2,000 last year just in referral bonuses from Real Estate Express? Yep. And so our just so y'all know, our vision of this is that $2,000, well, whatever amount of money you get from the com uh, uh, commission pays for the site plus goes back into your ad spend. So the idea is to get it to where it zeroes out the cost as much as possible of your of your recruiting process, which is the really the magic behind this process. And I also do want to make a quick comment. Um, some states don't offer case score. And so we we have the option to show uh, your affiliate link on all the states or we can only show your affiliate links on the states that don't have case score. And then on the st states that do have case score, we show real estate uh, or, or uh, we show case score. And so I just want to give a big shout out again to Josh because I don't, that the case score threw a big wrench in this whole process. And Josh was masterful in figuring out from a technical aspect how we do that, where we can surface case score if you want it to show for the states that offer it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's just kind of one of those cool things too. Like if you want to start working with case score, you can turn that on at any given point within your website. And Josh, which is uh, kind of a really those, cool process. For those who don't know, case score is, um, I don't know what the new name of it is. It's uh, we've KW has partnered with Kaplan for online, uh, no cost to the student real estate school. It used to be called the Keller Williams School of Real Estate. They just changed the name to something different. I don't remember what it is, um, but it, essentially like about half the states have the ability for people to get their license at no cost to the student because the market center is paying for that cost. Um, and we, we know all this data on our end, so you don't have to worry about it. We only surface case score in the states that offer it, and we're always monitoring if new states are added. So there's nothing you have to know other than just kind of knowing what case score is and, um, and then connecting them to a market center. Absolutely. Um, so then the next thing we'll talk about real quick is what happens if they're enrolled in real estate school? Well, our next call of action for that, the primary call to action if they're enrolled is to schedule a call with you. So within all those various emails with the call to action is, hey, if you're two weeks away from your test, right, from taking your test, because it's very purposeful when you want to have that discovery call. You don't want to have it too early, but you also do not want to have it too late. Um, when they're ready, they'll click on a link and it'll be driven to your website where your calendar will live. And then this is where they can click. And this is where they can kind of just see your available appointment slots um, to sign up for a call with you. So kind of press mentions, right? Nick wakes up every day and he's like, oh, I have four calls. And he, these people are scheduling those calls with him. Now, what's really cool about this is you have a lot of flexibility. You can decide how many appointments you want to offer each day, um, what your time blocks look like. Uh, and if you just want to do Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, um, you absolutely can do that. The only requirement we typically have is if you're generating a bunch of leads, make sure you have enough appointment slots to really service those people, right? We don't want to be sending people to our website, signing up, and then they can't actually get on a discovery call with you for months, if that kind of makes sense. And then um, the other thing I just really want to kind of point out as well is just some of the value adds. So within these emails, we're sending them constantly, but we're not actually providing the information within the email. We're actually pushing them back to your site, right? We're always driving them back to your site. So one of the things we offer, for instance, is one of three eBooks that uh, Press and Anna have written that we have actually white labeled to you, right? So this one's called Six Steps to Six Figures in One Year. And it's just a simple book where they just kind of go through and you're just providing this value, right? Uh, and then the other, an example would be one of the articles that the site links to. It says, hey, how to get your real estate license fast. And here's an article that is written from an evergreen perspective. We've taken a great deal to make sure that this is stuff that is, this information is never going to expire. doesn't matter what happens in real estate in the future. These are solid tips and tricks and 
fun articles as well, um, where we talk about like Keller Williams lingo and people can understand what, you know, a TL is and a market center and stuff like that, that is never going to change. And on top of all of that, one of the other questions we get, okay, cool. I have a site. It does all these cool things, all these cool things. How do I use it? Well, that's where we actually have our resource center. So when you sign up for the site through profitsharemastery.com, you'll actually be able to go to our resource center. And for instance, we have all these different categories. So you'll click get getting started and you'll walk through our onboarding guide, our frequently asked questions. Um, you'll be invited into our private Facebook group where you can kind of ask questions um, each and every day where Press and myself uh, and Andy are extremely active uh, as well as other members of the site. Uh, and then in addition, one of the other sections is our major resource section. And this is where we actually give you a sample of an Indeed ad that you can just copy and paste to start running um, ads immediately. We provide you uh, contact information to our rep at Indeed, our contacts at Real Estate Express and the CE shop as well. So you can get signed up for all those uh, things as quickly as possible. And that's kind of my bit. Back to you, Press. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show y'all, uh, let, let me share my screen here one more time, is you know Gary talks in terms of models. So as we've been going through this and I've talked to a lot of people about this recruiting process, I want to share with you the models that have emerged that I believe there's four models of what we're going to see over the next decade of people inside of KW who start treating profit share like a business. So I'm pretty excited about these. So I hope these kind of maybe expand your thinking a little bit about what's possible. So here's model number one. Model number one is exactly what Nick is doing, which is uh, he is recruiting people into his downline. His benefit is that he's grown his passive income. He gets 50% of the profit share pool from that person. Um, and, uh, and he gets to grow his downline, right? That's, that is model one is where you do it. Model two is for those of you who have an EA, a virtual assistant, some sort of admin in your life. Maybe it's a spouse who has some extra time. It could be whatever. It could be a lot of different options, right? But uh, I put EA up there as just kind of the, the general catch-all or an admin, and that is where you and an admin do the recruiting calls together. Now, here's the benefit of this. We automate 80% of the process, but that still leaves the 20% of, of effort and work that you have to do, right? That would be the recruiting call itself. That would be finding which market center they need to go to. I'd be connecting, you know, finding the team leader information, connecting with the team leader, some of the follow-up if they're not ready to be passed to a market center. Some of those things, like that's still work. That's part of that 20%. And so what you could do is uh, get that 80, uh, the 20 percent that you have to do down to probably like five percent, the most five percent important parts, which would be you would do a recruiting call. You'd have your uh, admin or something on the call with you. You would then have them do some of the follow up. They would connect. They could reach out um, and uh, uh, go look on the Internet to figure out which market center they should go to get the contact for the team leader. And so really the only thing you're having to do is you do the recruiting call um, you, and then you call the team leader and make the connection. And so you are being highly, highly leveraged in model two. Okay. Model uh, three is this is what I do with Nick. So Nick is on my first level and he is actively building his downline. And so I am the you in this case, Nick is the person in my first level and he's out recruiting. The benefit for me is I have someone who's actively going out and building my wealth every single day, whether I do anything or not. And so I get 10% of that profit share pool uh, from the people that Nick goes out and recruit uh, recruits. And last year, Anna and I were just shy of $30,000 in annual profit share. That's both combined from my efforts, Anna's efforts, and Nick's efforts in recruiting. Okay, so I, I foresee a world in which um, as you do this, you may go find a Nick in your profit share tree that you say, hey, why don't you start doing some of this recruiting underneath me and I'll coach you and help you, right? And I'm actually already seeing Nick do this. Uh, he just found two people in his downline that are, that are, using our, that are gonna start using our sites and uh, doing this recruiting as well, which brings me to model four, which is you go find multiple Nicks in your profit share tree. And as you do this more, you build a bigger downline we're going to see people look up and they're going to have an army of people who are out building their wealth. And then you're receiving the benefit of helping them go out and build their wealth. Does that make sense from a model standpoint of maybe the evolution of this? 
So I hope for some of you that maybe allows you to maybe think bigger about this opportunity and how you do this. But um, I, I think it makes a lot of sense at, as you look at the evolution of profit share. So um, Linda, uh, any thoughts you want to add to this? Um, no, I, I mean, uh, it's just, it just gets better all the time. And you've already got, you know, lots of people that turned it on and immediately started having success. Matter of fact, some had so much, you had to get them to dial back the money they were spending. So I, I like the fact that you said, you know, unless you're like what Josh said, Josh, when you said, don't do this, if you're not going to call the people back, we have to keep professionalism and we have to keep integrity. And we, we want to do this only if you're committed to, you know, following up and, and helping the people get inside KW somewhere, not just, you know, not just turn it on and have, well, we've already had a story where the girl didn't get back with somebody quick enough. And by the time she got back with them, they'd already joined a Keller Williams office. So you want, you want to be serious about this and don't overload yourself with so many calls that you can't handle at all, but it's, yeah. it's, it's already been proven. We already got people out there with great successes and it just gets better and better. And we're, for, for anyone who wants to do this path, we've, um, we do a, I do a monthly mastermind where I coach people. I coach as a group, we coach on how to do this well. Um, and so we share best practices and things like that. In addition to it, um, we also have um, in our resource section, we talk about how to do a recruiting call, how to ask for sponsorship, how to ask the market center for sponsorship. I saw some questions in there about, yep. you know, sharing a, a recruit with a market center and then that recruit doesn't pick you. We share best practices on how to minimize those things. Now it's going to happen. It's part of, of it. Sometimes a recruit doesn't pick us, but it, that is not the majority. That is the few cases. Um, so we really coach on best practices and how to do this because we're not talking about it from a perspective of theory. We're talking about this from a perspective of, We've seen what works over the last four years and how to do this well. Um, and so that's really what we're coaching to is best practice. So um, Andy shared the link in the chat for those who do are interested in doing this. Um, you're more than welcome to go and sign up. Um, Josh and I are going to be doing uh, an onboarding call mid-July for those who sign up that you guys can hop on. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, it takes a couple of days for Josh to get your site turned on. And then we're going to do that onboarding call mid-month. Um, um, Malia, there is no discount code. I get this question all the time. The system we use is called Kajabi. It doesn't allow us to eliminate that box. And so it asks if there's a discount code. Um, we don't have a discount code. The pricing you're getting is our inter introductory price. So basically, just so you all know, it's one-time setup fee of $299. That gets your site turned on, your, uh, allows you uh, for Josh to set up your URL to customize your site to you um, and also your logo and things like that. And then um, the $50 a month is the membership fee to do the site. Okay, and, that, um, and that's our commitment to you guys. Linda and I's goal is to keep this as cost effective as possible so that it's a no brainer for you to say, man, this is a hands down for me to be able to grow my, my profit share. There's no... Uh, Joanne, there's no other cost other than you generating leads gotcha. off of Indeed. Our recommendation to people is to start with $5 a day for Indeed and then to go up over time uh, with that as you want to do more recruiting calls. Um, Andy, you want to talk a little bit? You're, so here's what's really cool about this. Andy is on our team. Andy, do you have a real estate license? No, I do not. Have you ever sold real estate? Nope. Okay. Are you doing this? I am doing this. And how many uh, recruiting calls have you had so far? Cause you just got started. All right. So I've, I've got some stats. Um, I have, I have pulled in about 150 leads. I've spent $50. I've had 18 calls. I, uh, 11 of those are with licensed agents. Amazing. <laughs> Which we, which we didn't prepare you for, did we? <laughs> nope. I, I did a I did a little bit. I helped uh, Andy about for about thirty minutes. We we role played and script practice together. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, Andy. Great job. What's so cool about this, y'all, is like I foresee a day in which our market center staff has the ability to recruit. I don't care if you're a new agent or an experienced agent. You have the ability to grow your downline. Uh, if you're on a team, you have your ability to grow your downline. If you have a spouse that's not even in real estate, 
they could build your wealth and build y'all's wealth. So the opportunities are really are endless for people. And that's, that's really what gets Linda and I super fired up because the truth is y'all Linda, this is not about the money for Linda. Like Linda could go sit on a beach somewhere and never worry again in her life, but she does this because of legacy. She does this because she believes in this company and because she loves what she does. This is her favorite topic to talk about. Yep. Yep. Uh, Press, I think somebody had a question. Um, how, uh, does, how does existing agents find the website? I guess they're looking on Indeed for jobs. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're looking on Indeed. Now, here's the thing. You can share your 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 website however you want to. We just coach people to use Indeed because we've had great success with that. But you could share your your website out in multiple different places. But I think there are a lot of agents right now who are looking up and thinking, I need something more than what I'm getting. And I'm curious about my options. Um, and so we're seeing a lot of that. Um, I did see a question about how do we know to set up our ads correctly? Um, William, we actually give you a contact at Indeed and you can set up a call with them uh, and they, they understand our process. We've kind of vet them and, and we've sent them a lot of people. And so um, our, uh, we connect you, you can reach out to them and connect and they will help you set the whole thing up on the Indeed side if you want. We also have a resource section inside of our members area that clearly walks through how to do that. Uh, Lori, it doesn't matter if multiple people are already doing it in your area because we coach people to recruit all over the country. So I would recommend you run a national ad because here's the thing, I don't care if we had 500, 1,000 agents doing this, not everyone's ad is showing up in the same place at the same time. It's all over the country, all different times, depends on your ad spend. So there's a, and there's a lot of people who are looking into real estate. So I would not let that be a deterrent for you to be like, oh, other people do this, so I shouldn't do it, or people are doing it in my area. That really doesn't matter. That, that doesn't matter. I mean, you could say, Linda, Nick could have said that about you. Nick could have looked up and said, dang, Linda's the number one profit share in my office. And therefore, I, there's no opportunity for me because uh, y'all are in the same office. But yeah, don't let that be a deterrent. Okay. And just to clarify, I've seen a couple things on the pricing. The It is a $2.99 setup fee one time. That's to get your site up and going for Josh to get all that up. And then it's just $50 a month after that. There's no, no more cost other than you running Indeed ads. And we coach you how to do that. We also coach you how to do the recruiting calls as well. Do you help us know what to say on the ad? Yes, we give you, a, we give you an ad. And we give you an example of what you can follow, 100% inside of our members area. We also have, you've got Andy's contact, you've got Josh's contact, you've got my contact, and then we've got our Facebook group. And that is used to share best practices and ideas. Um, and so we're, we're happy to help you guys with whatever you have. Can we edit the automated emails or add more to them? Um, no, you cannot. And the reason why we do that is because I, you shouldn't have to, we've already done all that work for you. Now, if you want to give us suggestions of things we should add into everyone's sites, we will hundred percent look at that, but we don't, you don't have the ability to go in and edit the automation. And truthfully, the reason we do that is because, Number one, the way we had to build the site so that we could build it for others. But number two, um, we've already tested and seen what works. You really don't have to do that. It, this thing is, fu it's funny. Josh gets asked all the time, okay, my site's set up and I have Indeed ads running. What am I supposed to do? And the answer honestly is you can reach out to those people that apply and you get an email notification for, but honestly, sit back and wait for people to schedule calls with you. Like that's the way the system is designed to work. The hardest thing for real estate agents to do is just sit back and just wait for them to schedule with you. Um, Lori, for URL examples, um, you're, you can use one of our URLs, which is just uh, whatever you want in the title. It could be your name, dot .kellerred.com, or you could do like what Nick did is launch into realestate.com. That's Nick's URL um, that he uses. Um, so it's up to you if you want to have your own branded URL or if you want to uh, just use the, one of the ones we have. We have not found a big difference between people who use their own URL and people who who use one of our URLs. Honestly, it does not really matter that much, to be totally honest with you. Um, okay, I see um, Holiday KW Advisors, Marina Del Rey. How hey, are you? 
I'm fine. How are you? I had a question. Put it in the chat a couple of times, but it got passed over. Everyone. Sorry, it's it's going fast. Yeah, I see. Ask that. away. My question is: If I have a already web uh, a website already, can this be added as a page to my website, or is this a completely separate entity? So, so this is separate. We, there's no way for us to unplug the automation and plug it into your current site. This is meant to be separate. So, if, I don't know if you mean like another recruiting site, or if you mean like at your own real estate website. My this own is, real estate website. Okay. This is intended to be separate. Now, with that being said, what you could do, and Josh, I don't know if you want to speak to this maybe better than me, but like you could have a link on your page that links over to this site. Okay. And so then we're driving people over to that, but we don't have a way. It's kind of a package deal. We don't have a way to unplug part of it and plug it into yours. Okay. And I, your, like your, I was um, actually, I was on, the, I'm a year end, and my first call that I ever had as a real estate agent was last year with you guys it was the very first I literally joined on a Thursday and you guys had a talk on Saturday and my coach sent me and I got turned on by Linda I never forget she was sitting in the living room of that beautiful beach home with the sand as a backdrop I remember it very well and um that's why I got into this and but I I did try Trithart Michael Trithart's site and um I paid for it and I had it for three or four months and just off of the explanation alone, I would have to recommend this site definitely. And I'm switching over. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate that. We, um, what's unique about this process is it's the site plus it's the automation plus it's the, we coach you, we give, we give you support and help. Linda? Yeah. And we appreciate Michael paving and, and Aaron and all them paving the way for us because without them doing that, you know, we learn from each other. And so with, we learn very quickly that without the automation, most people would buy it and not do it. And that's not what we want. We want people to, if you're going to pay money for it, we want you to use it. And we want you to get results because we want to build this company and you guys are going to be the ones that go and build it. Yeah, that's right. Um, okay. So a couple of things I'm seeing in the chat. Uh, let's see here. They asked if um, there's a commitment. There's no commitment. Our, here's our commitment. We're going to bring you value every single month with our process. You guys, if you're not finding value, don't do it don't do this process. So you have the ability to stop at any point. You don't want to do it. You don't see value. Um, however, our commitment is we're going to bring you guys tremendous value. So uh, my ask would be though, if you get into this and before you just throw in the towel, reach out to us, like, let us know what's going on. And I prom we've already had a couple of situations where people are like, I'm not getting a lot of leads. Well, when we did some digging, we found out that inside of their ad, they had the word licensed real estate agent in the title. Well, guess what that did? That tremendously limited the amount of leads that they were getting to their site. So we made that tweak and someone was going from one, one lead a week to five leads a day. So that was a, like that one change made a big difference. Hey, Press, somebody asked about the profit share mastery for existing agents. Uh, can you tell them how if they if because we have two things running simultaneously. We have a, a profit share mastery group that that has we talk a little bit about both in this one we talk about how to do new agents and how to do you ready do existing agents and then and then from that we learned because we meet with those people once a month so there's two 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 monthly meetings one if you just have the website you can go to that meeting if you have the website and you're in our profit share mastery on how to recruit existing agents you can go to both uh, monthly meetings, but someone asked, how do we, how do they find out about the one for existing agents? So can we make sure we, uh, yeah. give so if you, if you go to profitsharemastery.com, you're going to see right at the top, there's two buttons. There's get my recruiting site. And then the other one is get the course. The course talks really about Linda's philosophy, which is so good on how you build. And honestly, I would recommend you guys, you're going to be, if you're going to sell real estate, you're going to learn Linda's process to how you build relationships over time with people in your market, because there's so much power to the way that she teaches you of how you use your influence, how you use relationships to build your, um, your downline with existing agents. And then at the same time, you build your downline uh, systematically with the recruiting sites. So both of those options are available to you if you want to check out the, uh, the course as well. Absolutely. Um, Linda, I want to answer a question from Daniel. Uh, Daniel asked on one of the slides, there was something about 50% downline. What is that? Okay. So the way profit share works is there, it, it pays out seven levels. Okay. The first level, meaning let's say Linda recruited me and I go sell real estate and generate profit for the office. 
a part of a portion of that goes into the profit share pool. Let's say that's $100. Linda would get 50% of that $100. Okay, I'm just using that as an example. Linda would get $50 of the $100. Okay. Then in Linda's tree, it goes up. People, so whoever recruited her would get 10%. And then whoever recruited that person would get 5%. And that goes all the way up until that percentage adds up to 100%. So that 50, basically what that means though, in terms of why I showed that is if you want to uh, benefit the most from profit share, um, you start with building your own first level because you have the most opportunity to maximize the amount of money you're getting. Now, over time, it makes sense for you to go find other people who are out building your downline, but you may not be getting 50% because someone on your first level recruits someone then you're going to get 10%, not the 50. So hopefully that makes sense. Okay, what other questions? Anyone want to come on and say anything on, uh, we'd love to interact with anyone who has a question or a thought. If anyone wants to raise their digital hand and uh, has a specific question you want to make sure we answer, or if there's anything um, in particular we can help you with. Chris, I have a question. I fill yeah. out, uh, I, bought, I bought the website and I fill out all the information that required how long it's going to take to get the site. Yeah, Josh, you want to speak to that on uh, it's getting set up? Yeah, absolutely. So after you uh, order it within that confirmation order form, there's going to be a link to a setup form that you'll need to fill out. Once you complete that setup form, it typically will take uh, about five to seven business days for your site to go live. Thank you. No worries. And part of the reason for that, um, uh, Mila, is because the way we set these sites, there is some customization to you. Because there's really, an, what we've learned through doing this with Nick for four years, there's an art form of how you connect with someone via um, the internet without ever talking to them. And so the way we build the automation is such that by the time they hop on a call with you, they should feel like, they, like they're like they beholden to you. They, they kind of know who you are because of all the things you're giving to them through automation over time that you really don't even know you're, you're giving to them. It's just part of the, the system. Can't wait. Yeah, awesome. I can't wait. You're going to kill it. I can't wait to see what you do with it. I'll tell you what, you want to know a really cool profit share story? Mila is uh, just a total rock star. And um, uh, Mila, what's your um, what's your profit share now? Um, last last year, uh, it was 20, 23,000. And I'm on the, on the track to close about 30,000 this year. That's and I awesome. started in 2018 was my first that's Business. when I met Linda. <laughs> That's awesome. And I think Mila's one of our uh, podcast guests, remember? I can't remember what episode. Yep. Uh, one of our first ones too, I think. Yeah. We have a Profit Share Mastery podcast that drops on the 21st of the month. Everybody's welcome to get that for free and listen to it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Please listen. We, we, we're, we're committed. Linda and I are committed, by the way. I'm just so you know, I'm Linda and I are looking for 100 people who are committed to growing their profit share or their downline by 100 people per year. So if you want to be one of the 100, let us know. Uh, but we're really committed to partnering and helping the next evolution of people do this at a really high level. Um, and uh, and so we're, we're really committed just to helping you guys win at the highest level, because when when our company explodes and grows, there's more profit, there's more profit share. We all win. Just an amazing opportunity. Chris, I'm letting you know I'm the one. All right, that's it. I knew you'd be one of them. I should, I should have said there's 99 spots, actually 98 spots because Nick has one of them. So you're 98. We'll see who's 97. <laughs> awesome. Um, uh, the one, you know what? We ought to do a special group in the one, like a Facebook group for the people who want to be one of the 100 or something cool. Andy, let's talk about, let's mastermind on that. What we could do with that group. And uh, really, really help them do it at a high level. Um, okay, so um, yeah, so you, uh, someone asked about the calendar system. We use a system called a pointlet. And what's so cool about that is you set it once and then people are just going to start scheduling calls with you. You don't have to really mess with it again unless you want to block off time to go on vacation. And that's what's really cool about this. This system can continue to run. And as long as you keep your calendar updated, there's not much you got to do. I mean, it's just part of you just do the calls and you um, get really good at your scripting and you refer people to a market center. Yeah. And the thing about new agents is they're in severe pain. So you don't even have to be that great with your scripts. Trust me, if you met Nick, you'd know he's not, he's not, the reason he doesn't sell real estate is because he's not really 
uh, salesperson, really. I mean, he's not really got the tools to, to do that. He's an amazing kid, but he, you know, he, you don't have to have amazing scripts for new agents because they're in pain. They've spent a lot of money and they need to figure out how to go make some money. Yeah, that's right. Um, also, I saw something on here. Um, can we turn it on or off? So the way that would work is you would just turn your ads off. You turn your ads off, then then um, you stop getting leads coming through. You could also block off time on your calendar. It's another way you could do it as well. All right, last question, then I have to hop. I have a commitment at one. Um, Carrie, how are you? Good. Um, I had a quick question. So the um, the ads that you pay, do you know roughly like how much you spend a month on the ads? So so Nick spends about $15 per day. It's around a little under four. I think it's around 400 and something per month. Now, I don't recommend people start with that. I recommend people start with $5 a day. I know someone who spends $6 a day. So um, Indeed is going to want you to spend more money, obviously, on that platform. But I tell everyone, start with $5 a day. Because you can always go up from there. Andy's doing something interesting where he's running it and then pausing the ad when he's getting too many appointments. And then he lets it kind of go a little bit. Then he'll start the ad again. So Andy's kind of has this start and stop process. You don't have <laughs> to do that if you don't want to. Um, but I would recommend $5 a day is a really solid number to start with. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. Is it, is it a going to be any opportunity to, to, to talk to him, to Nick? Maybe he would give us a webinar with the samples of what, what's the most successful ads. So well, we would not look for it. <laughs> well, here's the thing. We already have that ad in our members area. So that's there for you. The other thing is on the recruiting call itself, um, we've, uh, we actually just recorded a session with Nick. Josh is working to pare that down to make sure it's really like just, just cut out all the fluff and stuff. And uh, then we're going to share that in our members area and we'll email that out to everyone. And his, his scripting is so good. He's gotten it down. He knows right what, where to go with the person, how to make it very effective. So, um, yep. So we're going to share that with everyone as well. Um, hey, Andy, when can they expect the recording of this? Everyone get a lot of people want the recording. Um, I will be downloading it as soon as this is done and it processes and I get some lunch. And then um, as soon as that's done, I will load it up into Linda's YouTube channel and send it out via email. I'm going to drop a link to Linda's YouTube in the, uh, in the chat as well. So you can keep an eye out for that just in case it goes into spam or your promotions folder or anything along those lines. Awesome. Okay, y'all, we have to run. We appreciate y'all so much. We're, we are committed to helping you guys do this at a high level. And here's, here's my commitment to you. Whether you want to do this process or not, we will help you. So we just want you to take advantage of profit share. We are 100% committed to y'all's success. So appreciate you all. Go have a great rest of your week. Let's go build our, let's go get our unfair share, as Aaron would say. Go change lives. See ya. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.